Behind me, the Powers Poblachen here in Warsaw. This is the home of Prince Josef Poniatowski. His home, the place where he had his famous parties, also the war office. Who was Josef Poniatowski? He was, in fact, a major figure in Polish history. Patriot, general, minister of war, sometime marshal of France. Join me in this episode of Poland Daily History, where we learn more about this remarkable Polish figure. Have any evidence, or do we know what sort of how he might pass a typical day? I mean, do, uh, what did he get up early in the morning? He or? was he, he, he was he was a was hard a work, He was a hard working guy. Yeah. I mean, uh, since 18, uh, uh, 1808, uh, and b b b there was a lot of work in the in the in the in the in the ministry. Uh, you had to uh, um, construct, build up an army from scratch. In fact. So yes, there was no, no, no army in the partition Poland. No, 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 no build up a minister and build up all the administrative apparatus to, to make without it function. Com without, com without computers, everything written uh, uh, by uh, hand. I, I, but you see, we have a completely different perception because in, 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 at that time, the amount of work which governments did was uh, very, very small. I, I can be reading, for example, the British Foreign Office at the time mm -hmm. had two clerks writing the letters and they could do all their work by lunchtime. And you can't imagine it. That, mm -hmm. you, know, you think of, the, of modern government, you think it's monolithic. And it's just extraordinary the, the, the small amount of work there actually was to do. But the army in the Duchy of Warsaw was crucial. Of course. It was crucial for us uh, and for Napoleon, because Napo uh, I mean, I mean, uh, let, let's, let's be um, uh, honest. Uh, uh, it, it's not that Napoleon loved Poles so much. But I mean, uh, they were useful, and this was actually, uh, especially after 1809, it was the outpost of the, uh, of the French Empire. A loyal one, of course, but for Napoleon, the Duchy of Warsaw was, was mainly the, the train, a, a training camp for, for, a, for, a, for a huge army. And besides, there was a lot of work in the ministry. We have to remember, because I mentioned 120, let's say, 1,000 people who marched on Moscow in 1912. But we have to remember that for uh, uh, constantly, constantly on a, on, a, on a constant basis, the Polish soldiers were fight, fighting in Spain as a contingent. Yes, of course, because the Peninsula uh, War as part of the that was the price that we have to pay. I mean, that was the 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 the, 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 the price of blood. No, well, we forget that. I mean, it's not. We don't. I mean, you make a good point. We don't immediately think of that. I mean, we think. I mean, as as, as an Englishman, I think of the Peninsula Campaign, the, the, Wellington, and and, and and all you know this constant retreating to and from Portugal and attacking Spain. And of course, you imagine the French. And when we, you know, in our consciousness, it's not actually clear. As it obviously should be that there were uh, as many uh, Polish uh, soldiers involved as there actually were. In British uh, uh, memoirs uh, from, from that time, uh, written by uh, infantrymen, um, uh, we can often uh, find a, 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 um, um, an opinion that the Polish cavalry was even better than the French. And for example, uh, in, uh, in the Battle of Albuera, in 1811, uh, which was a decisive battle, because after that battle, the, 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 the British entered 
for good the, pen, the, the peninsular, uh, because they, they were first they were co um, uh, contained to Portugal. That's right. They were willing to would lead the troops out on campaigns and retreat behind the tents. Exactly. There, so 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 so, exactly. so 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 Albuera is is kind of decisive. It's a decisive battle, and in that battle. Uh, um, here, 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 I'll talk about uh, a bit private. Um, there was a, a regiment of Polish cavalry, um, um, Lanciers de la Vistule, so uh, Lanciers of the Vistula, of the Vistula, and uh, uh, one of the officers serving in that uh, regiment was my great, 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 great ah. Telesfor Kostanecki. Right. So, in, in, in a sense, I mean, uh, it, it, it was him, uh, this, this, this man, Telesfor Kostanecki, thanks to him, I, I, I discovered Napoleon and took to... Became interested in history. Uh, yeah. Well, became, but I think that's a more thing about his history becomes a sort of personal experience. Personal, yeah. and, and there's some link. It, it becomes far more relevant. I think we live in an age where so many people seem to think, well, history is boring, it's old, and it doesn't matter. And really... I, I, I know, it depends I on who's talking. Well, exactly. But, uh, Some people can talk about history in such a passionate way. Well, exactly. I mean, it's all about because it actually for they hours. Are, they are interesting stories, and people, you know, don't necessarily, for example, take contemporary culture. The series Game of Thrones is actually inspired by the British Wars of the Roses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, history is there all the time. Um, you uh, have to. You just. You just have to find sense in history exactly. and, and then the rest follows. And, and, and hopefully read or, or see people who make, who make history interesting because some mm. of these are fascinating stories and it's the, not just the stories themselves but also the links that they have with individuals which are relevant today is that's, also, that's, as in your case. That's what I like uh, very much. Uh, 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 micro history uh, uh, put in a context of uh, major, major, uh, major history, macro, macro history. Exactly, and that's what really brings it to life, I think.